Morning, please finish loading the rest of the mail here at Warrington before heading north to Preston. Press F1 for a scenario brief. So going outside, we can press T to open the shutters. Uh, shift H for the headlights. I put them. To, I put them to tail lights using the lower. So in the cab, insert the mask key. Okay. Reverse it to neutral. Reset the AWS, and we should be good to go. Mail has been loaded, and the train is ready to depart for Preston. Depart when ready. So reverse it to forward. Release the DSD. Oh, reset the DSD. Power to notch two. So departing Warrington Royal Mail Terminal or Dalham. The speed limit is 25 and we have our only stop being Preston Dalham of Guzloop. Oh yeah, set the weather to not not weather. Set the season to autumn and the weather to rain or light rain. Not that you can actually see it. So joining the up slow. Speed up goes up to sixty. It's alright to sixty now. I think it's you for the DSD. Yeah, DVD isolation is you. So I'm using the um, Class 319-225 sound pack from Imagine Powerhouse, which has been discontinued for at least a year. It's been discontinued for ages, because we, we now have the 309 sound pack. The 309 pack by itself. It would have been nice if they had picked out of the pack and just renamed it to the Class 325 sound pack, but whatever. So we're following along train 186 Yankee, which I think the actual head code is 1 Sierra 02. 758 Warrington Royal Mail to Shilvio. So Warrington Royal Mail passing at 757. Like, go so straight to Carlisle, stop, stops for staffing reasons, and then to Shilvio, arriving at 1042. So we're starting at Warrington 1057 and going straight to Preston at 827. Fifty, thirty, eighty, hundred. So, um, going to join the down main at Wingwick Junction, where the line towards Earl Town comes off. Looks like I only have. Looks like I only have step one break. Looks like step two just gonna be wheel side. So I've got a clear aspect onto the down main. So yeah, we're in a pair of class 225s using the uh, budget Bodge Hits uh, TMD reskin. So on the front we have 225-005 and on the rear we have 325-001 in the Royal Mail new livery. With Royal Mail branding. So yeah, three two fives. They have they are a very unique unit. The fact that they're I think they're the only new build EMU for parcels. Oh, I think there's bound to be more purpose built parcel units. Not like coaching stock, like coaches hold by locomotive, like an actual EMU, a modern EMU. So 
So built between 1995 and 1996, they have a, they have a maximum speed of 100 miles an hour, and I think each coach can hold up to 12 tons of mail, which, which is a lot of mail. So if you do, so each T25 is one of four coaches times 12 tons of mail. So that's like 12 tons four. That's like 48 tons of mail. If you like 12 times 12, that's like 144 tons of mail in a 12 car contest. So another thing about the 325s is that they have both third rail shoes, <coughs> sorry, they have third rail shoes and a pantograph, which means they're dual voltage. So yeah, the T25s, they're dual voltage partal units, which makes them very unique. And in 2020 they are, so 1995, 2005, 2015, 35 years old. <laughs> Not that 5, 2005, 2015. No, 25. Yeah, 25, not 35. Yeah, I can't do maths, apparently. Yeah, 25 years old. I wonder if Royal Mail will ever replace him. No, not Royal Mail, uh, DB Schenker. So this scenario is called 1 Sierra 02 758 Warrington to Shieldmuir. So passing at Warrington Royal Mail Terminal, you'll be taking this pair of 325 units northbound to Preston, where another driver will take over. No delays have been reported so far. So the thing about looking at FPS is that the camera so the camera uh, glitches out a bit because the game is not running at whatever it wants to. Either it be like 35, 50, 60 FPS. The camera it kind of the camera becomes way more stiff the more limited it is. So say if the normal FPS or unrestricted FPS was like 60 and you limit it to 30, the camera would be very stiff. I don't know why that is. But it's a thing. So if I go outside now, the camera becomes very, very stiff because it's locked to 30 FPS. I guess, it, I guess it's one of those weird TS quirks. Oh yeah, that was really, that was really pissing it down. So I went for the right just there, joined from Newton Willows and Manchester. Well, Manchester via Eccles, not via Bolton. So if you want to drive this for yourself, a link to ACS will be in the description where you can download the file. So the scenario comes in two versions. The first version is the non-budget version for those who don't have the AP through an IQ25 storm pack. And the second version uses the budget 225 with the new livery. Which does require the discontinued storm pack. I think at the time of recording it's been downloaded like 50, 60 times. I should also mention that we are on the ATS West Coast Main Line, Midlands and Northwest, also known as the Missing Link Phase 3. Also, this is the first video of recording after Christmas, because today, today is Boxing Day.
yellow, which means the next next signal will be at danger. Train ahead is having deal issues at Wigan North Western, so it'll be diverted into platform six. Okay, so we have a failed train in Northwestern at a really shitty frame rate. There we go. So yeah, in real life this didn't happen. I thought it was I thought it was an interesting thing that could happen. I, mean, I could have diverted this train via platform one to be more interesting. But platform six was free, so I thought I might as well use it. On the right is Brings Branch Depot, used by Northern, to maintain it through 195s and 331s. Three three and the left, line joining from the left is from Liverpool via the Chat Moss line. I can see I can see the dangerous parts of my head. So pushing it very, very gently. So through a night going from Wigan to Liverpool to Fast Track 2 1. Oh, yeah, just, interesting thing about that is that it actually went via Newton Willows instead of the more direct route to Liverpool. Don't know why. I also left on platform 1 instead of 6. Okay, request your pass signal at danger approved. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that one is broken. So coming across, coming across into platform six, speed limit is twenty-five. So what are the plans for the future? I do plan on uh, putting my physical money got from Christmas into the bank. So I can use it online because physical money online isn't worth much. Unless you can send like physical money, like banknotes to the internet. <laughs> Speaking of, I wonder when the banks are open. Because Christmas is on a Friday. Boxing Day is Saturday, Sunday is... I think, bank, I think banks are closed on Sundays. So I might wait till Monday, the 20... 28th.
then the banks are closed again on New Year's. So yeah, when I do put my money in the bank, I will order the rest of the parts. So I'll order the new case, the new motherboard and RAM. Maybe an SSD. Maybe. This is Wigan Northwestern, the place I've been to hundreds and hundreds of times. <coughs> Sorry. It is a really cool station. You have a mixture of Northern, Transpennine, Avanti, Freight, Mail, Engineering Trains, 10. Why is it 10 here? Why can't it just be 25? So joining the domain towards Preston to be the limits goes up to I think it's eighty. Come on, frame rate, please. So hopefully when I do get my new my new pass and hopefully if it does work and doesn't explode. Um, my video should be looking a lot better because I'll be able to use dynamic lighting, dynamic lighting, which means I have actual like shadows and lights, and hopefully load times or stutter will be decreased, not gone, but decreased. Line right underneath is from Wigan Wargate towards Southport and. Kirby. Oh yeah, that's a nice screenshot. Also, weather effects. So my white players will actually do something and not just be completely useless. Because <laughs> with dynamic lighting off, the rain doesn't really obscure your view. It just it just it's just visual effects. Hopefully someday someone will make a brand new three two five with an RN and GSMR and a DRA. I really don't know why RSC omitted a DRA because it's normally on the left here where this gap is below the TPWS. Okay, what did I get for Christmas? Not much. I never really asked for anything because I can't really think of anything. Because for Christmas, the only thing I need, or after Christmas, is new parts, and that's it. So I've got a bunch of chocolate, like a Windows, uh, the Jurek Lynx, or Deodorant, uh, Mario Corp, actually two actually. Nice. Oh yeah, and a giant galaxy bar. Giant galaxy bar, you know, the chocolate. And a shirt. Yeah, the thing about getting older is like you don't really know what to ask for Christmas because if you had real money you would have probably already bought what you want because you're impatient. <laughs> anyway, if you're shooting like me you can just buy what you want in January anyway. Well, what with the money you have left over from September.
Clunk. Fairway. Please. There you go. So the next station will be Exton Borshaw Lane and then Leyland then Preston. We should also join the join the Bolton Corridor from well Bolton. Yeah, Preston is 12 miles away, which you're waiting in about 10 minutes, 10 15 minutes. So accelerate to 100 and then just add all that 100. I think it's a pretty flat gradient after Exton. I think this video will go out after the 50 on the Royal Lines, after the 171 is quiet in. So, the Wednesday? Wednesday, the. 30th or 31st. Because then after that we have New Year and 2021. And we can say fuck you to 2020 because 2020 has been shit. Like very, very shit. Yeah, the route runs fairly smoothly, it's just the towel loading stutters that bring the frame rate down to like, three. That's why the building on the left is the same one on Adaptive Road. What's that meant to be anyway? I'm really sure to do more 325 scenarios and videos. I think with 325 is that 325s, I think mostly operate at night. And nighttime driving, it's not really that interesting because you can't really see anything at all. And there's only a few um, daytime runnings that maybe cancel, maybe running really late or maybe really early. <coughs> Sorry. Shortly is Exton Bolshaw Lane. So, uh, Exton Bolshaw Lane 820. Come on, time. So, uh, Leyland 822, Preston 827. I 
I don't think in real life I've ever done this part of the line. I've been to Wigan, I've been to Leyland, I've been to Preston. But I haven't done the line between them. Maybe I should do one day. Line for join line joining from the right is the important corridor for Horwich. Where the football stadium is. I think they're called the Bolton Wanderers, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I think about Leyland is that you can see the junction sort of from the station. Because Leyland to the junction, I think it's called Exton Junction, is practically just a straight line uphill. So coming up on Leyland, Voyager going to Houston. So join, join, join the line from Blackburn over at Viaduct and into Preston. Yeah, do have the delivery. It's basically the old one, but with the stripes removed. Mm. I wonder how often duty files get, get. I wonder how often duty files get cleaned. Well, if, if they go with the Royal Mail, I would assume it's fairly regularly, fairly regularly, because it's a Royal Mail. I would assume the Royal Mail wants like clean trains. That's Preston, the new Preston. There's Lions Walls Armskirk, there's that's a coal and then there's the life of Black Bear. Oh yeah, you can just use X, X, or X-ray to use the sander to get more grip. I think the game is just falling in Preston. Preston is a fairly big model. I think it costs ATS at least £10,000 to make. I think Clouds took over 10,000 pictures, a reference. Through a nine to Manchester Airport. Also, I wonder where the TPWS grids are. They seem to be missing. Uh, because we have to uh, cut across the cut across all the lines, all the lines is into the mail platform. Uh, we have to wait for a path. So 
Sasuke Yellow and with his F3 Feather. I think it's F3. Which means we have a road into the Upper Nangles Loop. Which is basically just the um, one of the disused mail platforms. So, 95, 30, 20. Cutting across onto the up slow, then down slow, then into the mail platform. So up ahead is the new Preston, which is created from scratch and is a custom model by ATS. And it looks really nice. So for this Preston, it gets to about 16, 18 FPS. So we have a 150 to Ormskirk to Foxtrot 42 as they threw a 9 to Liverpool. So this is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed this short run on the missing link. Subscribe for more training content, like the video if you are so inclined. Uh, follow me on Twitter for future video updates. Join my Discord, link in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, the model on Preston is really nice. Rival into Preston.